Good morning, internet. I was getting ready to import the videos from yesterday and these little lock things came up. So the other day, Tim showed me this on the little card where it has this thing that you can either push up or push down. I don't know which one is which. So let me see if I can change it. So I moved it and now I'm gonna put it back into the card reader and see if that changes anything. I don't know, we will see. Thank God he showed me this though because I would have had no idea. All right, and they are no longer locked. So yay, thank you Tim for showing me things because I never would have known and there would be no blog. Forgot that I let the dogs outside about 15 minutes ago, which is never a good idea because when I come outside, they're just lounging in the dirt and they just got baths. I just noticed that our grass has these little flowers. Kinda like them, but I have a feeling that they're weeds. I don't wanna pull them up though, cause they're so cute. I don't know if Tim showed you this yesterday, but look what Nathan brought over for Timmy. He said, we gotta get you out of that noob status. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but that's pretty awesome. Thanks, Nathan. So I'm just sitting here editing the video, minding my own business when Tim sends me this text. I don't know why he did this. Actually, I think he's evil for doing this because this is an easy crescent taco bake. So this is like a whole thing of crescent rolls, ground beef, which we would use ground turkey, some salsa, and then lettuce and tomato. One serving is, it's like a piece of pie basically. One serving has almost 400 calories and 200 calories of that are from fat. Why would he send me this? Our cheat day is not until Sunday. It is Thursday. So what, Friday, Saturday, that's three days that I have to think, oh, I wish I could have this crescent taco bake. <laughs> Why did you do that, Tim? In other news, it is not raining right now. So that's pretty exciting. Look at that sky. Oh my gosh, it's like perfect. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna enjoy some of that perfect weather that we're having with the little pups. What do you think? You wanna go outside, little baby? I'll take that wagging tail as a yes. Also, because Nathan was coming over the other day, I figured I should clean the spots on the carpet and uh, it kind of backfired on me because now the spot is the cleanest part of the carpet, so I need to clean the rest of the carpet. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Everyone's going outside. Do you want to come outside too? Come on, Bandit, let's go outside. I'm not exactly sure why that took so much coercing. You should want to go outside. It's fun outside, right? Do you love it? Yeah. It is so nice out. I have a feeling that Tim and I might be able to do some geocaching. I'm pretty excited about that. I haven't been outside in a while because the weather has been so bad. Tim's home. I'm home and, and I wanted you guys to see my hair. Let's see it. No, turn around. Give me a full 360 on this. Whoa, what happened to your neck? Where? I don't know, it looks like a... <gasps> <laughs> you got attacked by like a wolverine or something. It gets so close. Why do you do that? Because I don't want people to see my boobs. Well, I'm not showing your boobs. See? Covered them. Oh no, nip slip. Now we have to work out. Like this. Ah, I can't show them your boobs. <laughs> this might be kind of cool because it's like just starting to rain right now and there are giant drops that are coming and it should start pouring like any second now. All right, so maybe I lied. Maybe it's just gonna take its sweet time. Yeah, and then the sun came out and it stopped raining and it was beautiful. You guys know that new Kesha song, The Crazy Keeds? There's a version of it featuring Juicy J. That guy raps like he's straight out of the 90s. He said, I'm so fly, I've got landing gear. That's some 90s rap right there. What Tim forgot to tell you was that the last time that he actually listened to rap was in the 90s. That's not true. Yes, I listened true. to um, Sir Mix-a-Lot. 90s. Oh, I listened to Shaq. Not, why? Why? <laughs> you don't remember Shaq? No, he got when, skills. I do remember when Shaq. When he rapped and he's yeah. like talking about it. He's, I dropped bombs on him. I dropped bombs on him. Sure, right? You can't say stuff that like that anymore. That would be not politically correct these days. <laughs> I got an email about the Corvair because you guys know I'm trying to sell the Corvair. I got an email from Craigslist today that was amazing. Did it, did it go a little something like this? Hi, sir or ma'am. I'm not a weirdo. I would like to make sex with you. I'm lonely. You can text me if you want. No, my favorite part about those emails is that they always go, is your stuff still for sale? <laughs> the one today was, hello, I was wondering if the Corvair was still available. I cannot afford to buy it, <laughs> but I, would, well, I was wondering if you can't sell it, if you would be willing to donate it to me. I'm a disabled veteran. Oh. And I'm like, what? Like, That's where so did that sad. come from? It probably has worked for him before. I bet somebody has given him like some stuff. Yeah. If I if we could afford to just give it to him, I would. Well, I probably wouldn't give it to that guy. Why? I don't know. What? He didn't seem legit because all of his spelling was really bad. 
<laughs> I would still probably give it to him. I feel bad, he can't even spell. Here's the way that it goes. In that email, he goes, I'm not trying to scam you. If you guys aren't trying to scam somebody, don't tell them that you're not trying to scam them because that immediately makes me think that you're trying to scam me. So the girl that bagged my groceries at the Publix gave me a nice compliment. She said, what? Why did you stop filming? No, that's what she said. Oh, I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I didn't know what was happening. I'm like, what? Something. And I said, what? And she goes, <laughs> and I was like, what? She goes, sorry, I like your mustache. And I was like, oh, thank you. She's like, it's not often I see them. And I'm like, mustaches? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fast. I can't believe how fast he grocery shopped. I was not feeling well, so I waited in the car. But we went into Sam's and I had to leave and go out to the car because I felt like faint. So, um, I don't know, maybe I didn't have enough protein or something. So I sat in the car and then Tim went into Publix and I sat in the car again. And I only had time to look at two imager posts. That's it. And he was totally done with shopping. It was awesome. I know that some of you guys aren't from areas where it storms a lot, but that is a high ceiling cloud. It's cool looking, right? See how tall that the tops of those clouds are? Now a horse? No, he said one more time on me, and then I said, now down with the horse. Now back oh, to you. You're I the- I not quite understand it. I'm the Old, old spice. spice Man. Yeah. That's an anvil cloud. Anvil? Anvil. Oh. Better known for uh, the supercells out in Kansas. <gasps> like a tornado? Well, a tornado is not going to come out of that one, but yes, a tornado did come out of a cloud that looks an awful lot like that. Oh. So we went to the store and we forgot the list at home and we had to improvise. And I'm wondering, what did we miss? We didn't forget anything. I think we probably forgot. Ooh, mustard. Oh, mustard. Oh, mustard. And, and vegetables. Veggies. Darn it. What happened? I have freeze-dried bloodworms all over me. On you? Yeah, I spilled it on me. See, it's on the ground. Oh no. And it's on my feet and on my shoes. Oh my God. You know what bloodworms are? What? Mosquito larva. Are they really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh no, do we scoop them up and put them back in the thing? Heck no, we vacuum them up. Oh, okay. What are you doing? I'm taking a picture of this website so that I don't have to write it all down. Why don't you just go to the website on your phone? Barbara. Because this is how I do things. Uh, what was that, little Timmy? I haven't found it on the website yet. Oh, that's why I take pictures of things because I don't have to worry about this. I just like skip the whole step and I'm done. Found it. Whatever. You guys know how we like to do science experiments around here, but for a change of pace today, instead of me doing the science experiment, Guess who's doing it? The pretty one. <laughs> I found the science experiment online and it looked kind of cool. So I thought it might be neat for you guys to see it. And if you like it, you can also do it. We'll show you how. Science, science, science vlog. This is science, science is cool. The name of this science experiment is elephant toothpaste. <laughs> We're gonna make elephant toothpaste. What all do we need? You're gonna need, this is actually a science experiment within an experiment, experiment section, because you need a different kind of uh, peroxide, which we don't have. You need 6% peroxide, we only have 3%. So we're gonna see if that really works. So if you guys do decide to do this the proper way, use 6% peroxide. But if you like the reaction that we get, which we don't really know what it's gonna look like, but if you like it, you can use regular peroxide that you find at the store. So you need peroxide, dish soap, an empty water bottle or soda bottle, that's clean, rapid rise yeast, your favorite food coloring color, and uh, warm water, and that's it. First, you're gonna take one cup of hydrogen peroxide and put it in your bottle. That was some fancy pouring. <laughs> well, there, yeah, I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna take eight drops of your food coloring. We chose green. You should also be wearing safety goggles, but I didn't have any. Yeah, look at that. That's like a, an album art cover. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome already. Heck yeah. Then you're gonna take one tablespoon of your dish soap. This I think we're gonna do over the sink. Oh, okay. Looks like honey. You wanna try it? No. But it tastes good. Okay. Whoa. Oh goodness. Oh, good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, let me. Oh, I just, you just dripped it on my hand. I'm sorry. All right. 
It's pretty all right. Yep. One tablespoon of yeast into the warm water. I can put this in here, right? Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of yeast. And then stir it up. Right into the warm water? Right into the warm water. Stir it up for 30 seconds. Okay. Should I do it over there? Is it gonna get like so crazy? Should we go outside? No, I think we'll be fine. Maybe we should go outside. Do you really want to go outside? Well, only because of, it's going to make everything green. I didn't think about that. Okay, we'll go outside. Okay. Kids, you should probably tell your parents to go outside with this. Yep. All right, we did go outside. We put it on a cookie pan and pour it in. Yep. Is it going to be so crazy? No. Quickly, quickly. Okay, okay. Whoa! <laughs> it didn't do it like I thought it would. Oh, it's still going. Holy crap. It's going to spill onto my... Oh, no. Oh, I did spill on my waffle iron. What do I do? Um, <laughs> move this out of the way. Oh, I think it's, ooh. Yeah, is it doing it? I think so. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Oh my goodness. What do we do with this? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I say you squeeze the water bottle a and little bit. What? That'll be cool looking. Yeah, look at that. All right. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that was pretty cool. I just don't want to get green stuff all over me. Does it feel warm? Yeah, it does feel warm. Endothermic. Ooh. Or exothermic? Sorry, my phone's all open. I was trying to take a picture for the internet. Exothermic! Because it created heat. I don't know what endothermic means then. Oh, I feel like you could like shave your face with this. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm not shaving. It smells kind of good. I know, it kind of smells limey, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh. And this has been Science with Jen. The good news is that it turns out that that worked with the regular hydrogen peroxide, so you guys can do it at home without making a special trip to the beauty salon to get the special hydrogen peroxide. Thanks for doing some science with the trackers. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price. Every time. Mm.